side and welcome to NFL Talk with Angel, Bravo, Alex. And on today's lovely day, final episode, and the final episode of NFL Talk of the 2023 season, yes. 24 season. Yes. I said season twice, sorry. <laughs> Alright, Super Bowl predictions. One for two. One of us got a right out of three. Alex got it right. <laughs> Luckily, we didn't bet money. Hey, I was totally speaking, the speaking like, of betting. Speak, kind of, speaking of betting. Kind of speaking of betting, I bet it on the Gatorade color. What was it? It was purple, huh? Yeah, and I guessed purple. Why did you guess purple? Uh, because the Super Bowl logo. Mm, makes sense. Makes sense. I I just, I just kind of noticed. What about the one from um the Eagles and Chiefs game? What color was the Gatorade for that one? I don't know. That one I didn't see. But th- this was the first time I actually put money on a Gatorade color, and I. What did you bet with? Um, just my family within my family, my cousins. I won like twenty, no, twenty bucks over a Gatorade color, guys. You no, hear that? twenty, forty, sixty dollars. Sixty dollars for a Gatorade color. They, they guess. They guess green and orange. Who was going to be the Super Bowl champions? Oh, cause it, oh, cause of, yeah, I get it. And then red. But. All right, so review of the game. First half. It was boring. It was boring, but it was very good for both defenses. <sighs> yes. Both defenses. I do have to say that the 49ers defense is elite in the first half. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. The first half, 49ers defense is the most elite. The very first possession. Minus the the Lions game. The very first possession for the Chiefs, I was like, oh, I think they're going to at least score a field goal here, you know? Because it's the Chiefs. Like, they they always score. They always score. This was the first game where they don't score on the opening drive, three and out the first first drive. I was like, what? And then next thing I know, McCaffrey fumbles. Next thing I know, Pacheco fumbles, and there's fumble everywhere. It was just fumble. Like yeah, that entire play. first half was turnover after turnover. Yeah, yeah. punt after punt. I thought it was going to be like the Rams and Patriots game, to be honest. You remember the Rams-Patriots Super Yeah, we almost went like, what, like 52? Yeah, it was 52. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that? That was the one before 53 where Brady beat. The, I forgot who went. Uh, lost to the equal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot. Okay, well, that's well, a few years back. Yeah, it, was, it was like, what, 2018, 2019? Yeah. Let's go. What are you podcasting? NFL. NFL. You're podcasting today? We're halfway yeah. through. Um, just say that you're being raided by your teacher. We are being raided by our teacher. We're being raided by our teacher. No! <laughs> Alright, hold on. <laughs> Cut this part out. Alright, where were we, though, before we continue? If we're on, um,. We're talking about when the Eagles fucking fuck when the when the fuck when the Patriots and Rams played in the Super Bowl. Okay, three, two, and one. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. I think it was like 2018. Oh, a little bit back. I don't remember. I think so. Like right, right there. It was a few years back. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyways. It was like 53 something. Anyways, first half, three to ten final for the half. Halftime show. What do you guys rate on a scale of 1 through 10? Below ten. average. 10. I that was, was the best. Was, yeah, was that's the ten. best I've ever seen. I don't. I it was so this year's entertaining. Was than when last year's, the year before that, the it year was before best. that, it the year no, before that. No, I... It was better than all of them. That's all I'm saying. Um, but I think the greatest, the greatest Super Bowl halftime show Coldplay. is Michael Jackson. Nah. Yes. That, that went really quiet, dude. It was yes. Coldplay, Michael dude. Jackson Coldplay. Had, who's Coldplay? I mean... Uh, <laughs> when they sing uh, Viva La Vida no, That was funny oh. I don't even remember that <laughs> yeah. I just know this was the best Halftime show I've ever it seen It was the best one of this decade Yes <sighs> Um But first Okay him, No 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 him, him. His, his final His final outfit You cannot lie I know it's gonna sound stupid But his final outfit I don't know why Which it reminded me of lights. The yeah, the, <laughs> it reminded me of Skull Trooper. <laughs> <laughs> I seen a video on that said so he looked like the Skull Trooper, the purple one. Yeah, it, I didn't see it until I yeah. saw a video and yeah. someone pointed that out. I was like, yeah. I was like, oh. And then he brought Ludacris out. He brought Lil John out. He brought Alicia Keys out. And he was grinding on the phone here when he had a hood. bro, he had a bro, why, bro. When, when she started, why did she look like a challenge flag <laughs> from that far away? <laughs> Her, that dress, bro, what thing was... <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting off topic. <laughs> Anyways. Second half is when the action finally begun. Yes. 
So that's when I started overtime. sweating. That's when it started to get good. That's when so everybody second was half, yelling. Second half ended in a tie game, nineteen to nineteen, forcing overtime for both teams. Now, they only went to overtime. If you didn't know the overtime rules. Basically, you both te- both teams will get possession. Well, at least get one possession. And once both teams get possession, and the, if they both score, then the next person to score wins the game. I don't like that rule. I like that rule. But just think about it. just think about just because just because it favors the person who gets the ball second, I feel like more. No, because look look at it like this. Say it's your favorite team, right? And you know you're really or, good. The first. And you like say you go second. You're, you're, gonna, you're, you're and you're you guys, and you know that your defense is good, and you know that they'll stop it. You're obviously gonna like that rule, but if your defense sucks yeah, and you know yeah. that's your team, you're gonna like that rule. That that rule is gonna come in handy very, very good. I, I, just, I just, I just, I just don't, I just don't like it because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like, you know, you tie. Okay, that's it's that, good though, and it puts, it's good, it's good and bad. It has its good and flaws and everything, but like I don't know, I. Mm. I kind I, I I like the rule because it's the Super Bowl. You know, it's the biggest yeah. show, the biggest stage ever. Everybody but for dramatic, that for, but for time dramatic effect, dramatic, that was that was good. That more, was good. That, start losing your heads. That was that was beautiful. Everybody's head starts smoking. It wasn't even supposed like, to be over. Like the Chiefs were supposed to win. They had the, an open pass. Hold on. Yeah, they did. Well, hold on. We'll hold off on that. No, the 49ers also had a chance to win on a third down final before they kicked the field goal. Brandon Ayuk. Wide open, the Chiefs defender tripped, but Brock Purdy was looking the other way. Wide open, he was like right. It was like this. I think that was uh, I think Chris Jones pressured on the complete other yes, side, so pushing that. him. So yeah. he couldn't even look in that I, direction. I, just a quick glance. And he should have known those plays because he's the one calling. Me. I know, but if big three hundred pound Chris Jones is like right by your ear, are you really gonna look that way? True, 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 oh, true. I think so. Like even like you're totally risking. Looking this way and getting sacked. So, have you guys seen Chris Jones at the draft, the combine? <laughs> Bro fell, <laughs> and in his boxer shorts too. <laughs> <laughs> he tripped on a third leg. Yes. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> anyways. Anyways. Enough sure about Chris Jones. Was, okay. Speaking of final defense. play of the game, Chiefs. They run like a funny play. And wide open. No, it's a, it's a bootleg. It's a design bootleg. You line up. Uh, I believe it's two tight ends. One one goes on a. I'll be honest. Streak. I thought like they were gonna fumble or something. Cause sing all game, I thought they were gonna fumble. Yeah. Honestly, I yeah, I was. I, was, I, was I thought it was gonna be an interception or at least a swat. They were kind of close to an interception. They. If you look at it from another angle, it looked they, 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 he wasn't that really close to him. I don't know. There, there's some. It, there's something like from where me and you are at. Yeah. But like, if if he really like put all his might and power into jumping and diving, he, he probably would have been able to swat it down. Yeah. But yeah, but he was he was already running in motion. That's just hard to do in general. It was just a he wide stopped open. Stopped and started running, and then the pass happened. Yeah, yeah. Mahomes kept on looking for Kelsey. That's what kind of messed up. I think that's why the Chiefs, because he, he yeah, the Chiefs he were, was trying to force it to Kelsey too much. Yeah, yeah I feel like we kind of saw something, a little glimpse. I feel like uh, Niners never took advantage of that Speaking of just of shutting Kelsey, down Chelsea. Kelsey uh, shoves Andy Reid during the game, and the NFL is not taking it seriously. Because I, I think if it was any other player in the NFL that did that, they yeah. would have been at least fined something. I, I feel like just I know I know what everyone's gonna say I know no, no, I know I get I know. it it's a no 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 I I get it I am but I feel like I've just noticed something from the NFL I'm not saying this is correct this is not I've just noticed something with the NFL when it's an in team conflict and it doesn't affect everyone else I think that's the owner's job or the general manager to do something about it Did you guys see the shrieker on the field? <laughs> That's a shrieker, apparently. Oh, no, I, saw. Talk about that. <laughs> I heard it. I, I thought they were going to show it. Speaking of <laughs> showing people, showing the- Taylor Swift was shown 25 times! You know who also I took- 25 times? T- <laughs> bro! I spies. I spies. Bro, I, I'm... You, you know you know how they made a little drinking game with, like, amount of times Taylor Swift shown, this, that yeah. happens? Yeah. Bro, just Taylor Swift alone. I just I just grabbed a glass of water. I took, like, 25 with that easily you know not, not including everything else that happened over under 30 
over on 30 shows. <laughs> oh, also, we're all today as we're speaking this podcast, the Chiefs are currently having their parade in Kansas City. Uh I did see a video on Instagram. Yeah. Mahomes and his dad bod. Bro, Mahomes has a dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even in his thirties yet. <laughs> He's like 29, 28. He's still the best in the I think he... I, I don't he's, know. He's pretty, he's pretty great for what it is. Yeah. As of right now, he's the best player. No, you, you, can't, you can't lie. No, he's pretty great for what it is. I mean, yeah. we saw that when they played against Tom Brady, and Tom Brady absolutely blew them out. Who was the only player making plays and extending them? Mahomes. I know, even coming from a Raiders fan, like, you can't deny that, like, Mahomes is, like... That's the really Raiders talented. I still don't know how. It, there is the really Raiders talented. Win. I still don't know how the Raiders win. Bro, oh, how does the Raiders win? Oh, Christmas. Uh, good defense. That that's all we had. Speaking of good defenses, we already have our way too early Super Bowl predictions winners. Guess who's at number one? Jeez. I can't run. The 49ers are number what? one. What? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. The, the 49ers, you, 49ers are number one. My bad, my bad. The 49ers are number one. You owe... I'm sorry. Niners are collapsing this season or next season. They're going to owe Brock Purdy so much money. Not only that, they have to play... They have to pay Trent Williams, Kittle... McCaffrey. McCaffrey. Um, Debo, Ayuk. Debo, Ayuk. I believe... Bosa. The, hold on, hold on. Warner, too, but... I believe that the 49ers are struggling to find a deal with Brandon Ayuk because he posted on his story, he said, don't forget who got you there. And looking at the Lions game, I think that game was all Brandon Ayuk. Oh, yeah, it was. was it definitely Brandon was. I'm, I'm surprised the Niners haven't tried anything, but I feel like they're you're, you're seeing that spiral now that I've been talking about. You're seeing how, like, okay, people want their money because they feel like they're better, but they just owe too much money. And then they have they're to gonna be in a debt. A lot of other people too. Yep. So I'm I'm telling you right now, we're watching literally a financial collapse with the Niners. I'm we're watching it Everybody's live right now. Paid. They're gonna all ask for at least over thirty million. Yep. At a minimum. So we're gonna watch. Uh, we're gonna watch a financial fall with the Niners, yes. which is gonna be something. And especially if some of them get traded. They're pretty much going to pay them to play for another team, which is... That means the Chiefs are going to have no competition. No competition. <laughs> We're winning again. Uh, yeah, the Bengals' Joe Burrow is going to come back. Joe Shiesty is coming back. Don't forget who's your daddy. Burrowhead. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, speaking... Speaking of a lot of controversial things, turns out may or may not have hit the fan yet. Doesn't know if it's true or not. Apparently, Kanye West was supposed to make an appearance in the Super Bowl, got kicked out by Taylor Swift because she felt uncomfortable, even though he was sitting like a row ahead of her. You know what's dumb? The NFL is current. Just because it's Taylor Swift, I bet that's probably the only reason yeah. why they kicked out. If there were anybody else saying they're uncomfortable, they would have not even cared. I know. Anybody in the world, they wouldn't care. Well, but because it's Taylor Swift, I don't know. No. We don't talk about Drake. <laughs> Drake should be banned to begin with. <laughs> After that, yeah. and then you saw your look, a glorious oh, king I one saw time. LeBron James there. I think that was the highlight of the Super Bowl. To be honest, in my opinion, we're gonna mute the glazer for a minute. Anyways, um, the okay, <laughs> um, that's you gotta be like, yo, bro. But anyways. We're going to talk about the supposed um, refs versus Niners. There was no refs versus Niners. It was there was no. a bunch of missed I'm calls. I'm sorry. Now. I'm sorry to everyone that says this, but yes, Bosa was held. Yes, the entire Niners um, defensive line was getting held. Yes, but... So was your guys' O-line. Like, I've never seen Chris Jones get held that hard in my entire life. I thought I was watching just highlights of Max Crosby getting held, like, on both. Like, everyone was getting held. So, the refs just let them play. And also, you're going to be mad that they're doing everything they can in a physical sport and they're letting it slide both ways? Like, Speaking of, we have... 
the draft order in our hands. Actually, Raiders mock are going to trade up. Mock draft. That's supposedly supposed to happen for each team. So with the number one pick, the Chicago Bears have that they required from the Panthers. Number two, the Washington Commanders. I thought this was a mock draft. No, I meant like teams who have the number five, one oh. to five draft, or one to ten. <laughs> so number three pick, the New England Patriots have. Be be like be like Goodell, bro. Just be like with the 2024, 2025 draft pick. The Bears select. I think they're gonna select Caleb Williams. They're gonna. I think it's fields. too early for that. But I think it's too early to get desperate. I think the Bears need a wide receiver, interior O line, tight end, edge, they and just, a corner. They just need. They just need an offense around Fields. Let me t- ask. T- tell me. Who does Fields have to throw to? Real. <laughs> who is who is who is on the Bears O line? Real. <laughs> there you go. It's too early for that right now. Okay, with the number four pick, the Arizona Cardinals have select another bust. They need a wide receiver, defensive tackle, interior O line, edge, and a corner. Maybe number even a quarterback. Pick, number five pick, the the, La, the Los Angeles Chargers have. They need a cornerback, running back, D tackle, tight end, and a center. They select. The number six pick is the New York Giants. They select the entire class of 2020. <laughs> At number seven, Tennessee Titans. Number eight, they Atlanta select Falcons. the quarterback. And nine and ten. Whoa. Chicago Bears have two picks in the top ten. Yeah, you you would know if you pay attention this entire season. So they have the number nine pick and with the number ten. The Bears select. The a wide Jets. receiver. The Jets had the number 10 pick. Jets select another wide receiver. Is it the sucky teams that have the higher draft picks? Probably. Yeah. No, yes. Yes. The Panthers number are not 13, there because they traded. The Las Vegas Raiders. Select. Oh, wait. News came out. They just traded up with, like, some random team, probably, like, the Giants or something. Oh, my God. They selected Jalen Daniels. Oh, my God. Do you guys think you're going to get him? Probably not if we don't trade up, but... Literally in the middle of, like, I think pre-game before the Super Bowl, they literally just said, like, oh, Mark Davis f- told us what, what they're going to do. And I'm like, what the hell? They're they're looking for a franchise quarterback, so we're trading. That's really needed. So do the Cowboys. Unless Dak makes something happens with his final year in his contract, which I dare very really doubt. Oh, question I wanted to ask you. Let's just say Dak. Doesn't do anything. What do you think is going to happen to him? They're going to let him go to free agency. No. Like, him as a... Him in his career. <laughs> where do, where does he go? To free agency. I don't see him going nowhere. That's it? He's done? I don't know if any team will want to pick him up. Unless he's going to be an interception machine. <laughs> I get it. I, I'm a Cowboys fan, but... Dak has brought so many disappointing years this past. So is Romo. You know, Des Bryant did all he could, but hold on. Before we start talking, uh, talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm clipping that. <laughs> okay, before we start talking, did you guys see that catch by the fullback on the 49ers where the he caught it? Toe dragged. No, he caught it. No. As soon as he landed, the ball came out. Like the ball was falling and like it hit the floor. Oh no, no that, that's a catch. But when Des Bryant did it, it was not a catch, right? Right? I was probably grilling a burger from that time. I don't know. Des Bryant did it, and it was to go to the AFC champion, the NFC championship again for like six, six, last time in like 40 years. Anyways. Bro, that was I like, wanna, I wanna that was like six I trillion. That was six trillion about. years ago. L- News reported. Let it be. Alex, say uh, it. At the Kansas I forgot City Alex was here. Super Bowl parade. That there was gunshots heard at the parade. Sounds like a little high school. Okay. Oh. I want to point something out. Dude. The last time the 49ers won a Super Bowl was in 1994 or 5. But the last time the Cowboys won a Super Bowl was in 1990. Five or six. 
one year ahead of the 49ers. And why the hell do the 49ers get different treatment than the Cowboys if they because basically they last make time it, they won they a Super Bowl at the same time? They make it. Because the 49ers actually achieve, like, they go up. But when was the last time they won? But they okay, go but when was the last time they won? You get first rounded. Yeah. One second. <laughs> one second. <laughs> no, there, there, there's the difference. There's a difference there. Never mind, that answer my question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so. What is there really more to talk about? Other than. Who do you think is going to win gonna... next year? Oh, next year. oh way Super too, Bowl way in New early. Orleans. New Orleans. Way too early Super Bowl predictions. Let's say them now. Really, really early Super Bowl prediction. Give me. Chiefs. Uh, what, what two teams do you guys think are going to make it? Give me the Las Vegas Raiders. Versus. The Detroit Lions. <laughs> Who does he think? He Get is? this guy out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, real, listen, real, being real from what we saw this year, last year, I do not want a three-peat, so. I'm going to say Lions and Chiefs. I say Chiefs and Eagles. I'm going to say Lions and Chiefs. I say. Actually, hell no. I say the Bengals. I say. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I say the Bengals. <laughs> I say Bengals and Lions. <laughs> I say Bengals, Lions, yeah. That's, that's my prediction. I'm going to say Bengals, Lions. Chiefs, Eagles. Okay. Actually, no. Lions are currently... Wh- what's their draft pick? Like... Does it really matter, though? Yes. How? They have a... They ha- I think they just need they, a, no, a they're, one they're, piece. That's it. Yeah, and that piece is pretty huge. Because... What is it? I think they need a good corner. Corner? They, ne- they, need, they need some form of, like... Their offense is outstanding. Don't get me wrong. Yes, but it feels like during the playoffs, it was very... What are you talking about? They're, they were moving the whole time. Actually, there were not no, very no. plays where you see them losing. No, yards. I know, but like, when... I don't know, like... I feel like when they got shut down in the second half, it just felt like no one was there to make the play. And I feel like that's kind of like what separates teams like that, you know? Yeah. And I feel like they're missing a piece... To really get them going again. Well, look at their offense. They have Amase Brown. They have Williams. Williams, yeah. You know, they have Laporta. God. I don't know. Either they got to figure it out or... Their O-line is pretty decent. You can't yeah, lie. They, they got to figure it out because I don't know, man. I. You see teams like... Oh, man. I can't believe I'm gonna say. You see teams like the Chiefs <laughs> during their first round against the Niners in the Super Bowl. They were shut down. They came back. I think it was Mahomes, not the yeah. team. It was Mahomes. Yeah. yeah. You need to have that kind of player, that playmaker, to truly change. They have a good running back. Like, I don't know. Like, it seems like everything's there. It's just like, what went wrong? I feel like the Lions are going to, like, have one more setback. They have a gauntlet. This is like Thanos with the gauntlet. They need one more ring to be that complete team. One more ring. One more player. I meant one more player to get to be that complete team. Yes. Yeah. We don't. We. It's like you can't put your finger on it, but you know there's something missing. You see it. You want it. But something's missing. That made no sense, but okay. Yeah. That did, that did, that did <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, oh, okay. Um. So. Stop I'm pretending that's it. your glorious king, anyway. I'm gonna say it's Lions and Bengals. I'm saying Chiefs and Lions, or Chiefs and Eagles. Give me one of those. I I feel like Joe Shiesty's gonna come back nice and healthy. So give me the Bengals, probably NFC right now. Niners. <laughs> truthfully, truthfully, who's who's in the NFC right now? The Lions. I don't know. Lions was that only team that really gave him the competition. Also, I'm going to be honest. I feel, I feel like on, it's a on, coin on, flip. It's a coin flip. It's a I, coin I flip. Think, I think, I'm going to be honest. I hate this team with all my guts, but I think we're all sleeping on the Packers. I think yes, we, on yes, the Packers. yes, but. I see them going. F- I see them going the further. Around again. I see them going maybe like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, no. They, I don't know. It's, it's like right there. We'll see, though. We'll see. We'll see how much more love can improve because he improved a lot. Second half of the season was his season. Yeah, just not that first. So let's just see if he can play a full season at that performance. And shoot, we might. 
we might be talking about the Packers again. <laughs> my, we might see another fran- third straight franchise quarterback. Dude. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so jealous of the Packers, dude. They do it so easily. I know. Like, they make it, they make it seem so easy to find a franchise quarterback. And I'm like, why, why can't we do that? <laughs> Real. We're, we're always drafting a bust or someone going to jail. <sighs> That's very fast. Very speedy. <laughs> you lost your microphone rights. <laughs> All right, there. I'm joking. I was joking. I was joking. And that was it. So that's really. That's really it for. All NFL. right. So final final Super Bowl predictions. Just early, really early Super Bowl predictions before we go. So that mine is Bengals and Lions. Mine is Chiefs and Lions or Chiefs and Eagles. It's one prediction, my guy. Both of them want to be. In. Well, we know the Chiefs are making this, so... I don't see a 3 P. I'm sorry. I kind of well, can, but I kind of can't. Well, your if, 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 they, if, they, if, they don't get, if they don't find themselves a wide receiver, a good wide receiver, even then the 3 P's not happening. Even with, with, with the, without I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like, though, if the Niners just had an extra brain cell, they would have figured out to take yeah, out Kelsey. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, all they had to do was shut down Kelsey, and that was it. Let's be real. But they kind of catch on, and then... Yeah, Rice but like, was but like if way, these, but if they, they can find, if they can find their like underrated but a breakout wide receiver, then yeah, next thing you know, Chiefs are gonna have another, they're gonna continue their dynasty run. But I don't know. Right now, Joe Shiesty is probably gonna take Mahomes down, going to the Super Bowl. Real. I don't see that happening. And it's real. you know what? I love an underdog story. Give me the Lions again. I, yeah. Okay. So, but if we're going insane, give me the Browns and the Lions. <laughs> I thought the Browns were gonna go way farther. I know, bro. Year. I had so much faith that Joe Flacco. <laughs> I had so Come much faith. Of the year, by the way. Thank you, NFL, for uh, choosing Demar Hamlin. After like what two, three, four plays, he missed it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we ever established the awards that happened. Oh yeah. Uh, no surprise. CJ is rookie. Offensive rookie of the year. Same thing, bro. Defensive okay. rookie of the year is also a Texans player. Surprise, surprise. Also, I don't know. Most valuable player. Texans. Texans. I feel like you give them two more years, they're gonna make it like probably like right there. They're gonna be like at the door or inside the Super Bowl. Lamar Jackson, obviously the MVP. Is he really though? He played outstanding. I think, yeah. Yes, I understand he got eliminated, but I still think so. He threw a pass to himself. How often do you see that? <laughs> yeah, let's just give MVP to whoever can throw the ball to themselves. So what's his face? Uh, Marcus Mariota gets an MVP. I think he was in that conversation. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> I swear. <laughs> Anyways. So. I think that's it. Defensive player of the year was to Miles Garrett. I'm sorry. It I pu- think it should have been TJ Watt. Yeah. And but it I should- know I'm a Cowboys fan, and I never thought I'd say this, but I'm going to be honest. I think Max Crosby also should have been in that conversation way more. I Yeah, I, I agree, but even, like, it, it was clearly TJ Watt. Yeah, he T. J. did. Watt. He did better. I'm surprised how Miles Garrett even got there. I know. Cause I it's- get it. He's, like, dominant, like, yeah. beast and, like, Strong but like, like, if you big. really look, I mean, Crosby like st- did that, but better. Wise, statistic wise, Crosby did that, but better. But T.J. Watt did Crosby, but better. So it's like Garrett literally went through like two different people that did it, but better. Yeah. And it's like, how did you win? Yeah. But anyways, it doesn't matter. That's, that's gonna be it for it. NFL talk. Final episode. Last episode of the season. You have been here with Angel. Bravo. And we will see you for the 2024-25 NFL season.